Hi, I'm Philip at Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be covering a potential issue that can be faced within Google Ads when running a campaign. And this particular issue is when keywords are not serving often because of being limited by a low quality score. And we can see that in this example account where if we look in the status column for particular keywords, the keywords are not showing, are not generating a lot of impressions and clicks because those keywords have a low quality score and those that's causing the ads to be rarely shown for these keywords. So, so to start off with, firstly, we have to discuss what is quality score? Well, for every keyword within an account, Google looks at the um, the ad for that keyword and how relevant it is. And it looks at how relevant yours or your client's landing page is for that keyword. So for example, if you're targeting a keyword based around car insurance, but your landing page doesn't mention car insurance and your landing page is actually a page where people would purchase cars, you are going to get a low quality score because your landing page is not relevant to that keyword. Um, and the reason Google does this, the reason why every advertiser gets a quality score for every keyword they're targeting in their account is that ultimately Google does not want people searching with using their search engine to get loads of websites recommended to them through those ads that are not relevant to what they're searching for. Because if that happens, if people are not seeing relevant websites in the ads that they're clicking on then they're going to stop using google so google uses this scoring system to ensure that advertisers display a relevant ad and a relevant landing page so if we're seeing this within an account how do we react and ultimately what does it mean so in this case the account we're looking at is a new account and this is a problem that can plague new accounts and the reason for that is google hasn't had a lot of time in order to see what the reaction is of potential of people using the search engine to that this ad and to this website so with only a small sample of impressions we can see uh, this keyword has only had 21 impressions Google hasn't been able to, over a large sample, calculate what is the click-through rate going to be. And it can take some time for it to process the quality score. So now that we know what quality score is and why it's important, how do we fix this issue when we're facing this issue? Well, the first thing is sometimes Google needs a little bit more time in order to fully calculate what the quality score is going to be. So it may just be a a case of needing a few more days for the quality score to develop as more and more impressions and clicks get generated for that keyword. Now, if a bit more time has passed and you're still facing the same issue, or if this issue is something that's been going on for a while um, within your account that you've had for a long period of time, then the next step is to try and diagnose why this status is appearing uh, for the for that those keywords or that keyword and to do that to diagnose the problem the first thing we're going to want to do is add a few columns to our keyword report so to in order in order to do that we're going to open up the column section and then click modify columns and then once you've done that once you've got into the modify column section you're going to want to search for firstly quality score so the quality score is going to give you the overall score for each and every keyword. And you can also want to add several other columns. You're going to want to add this one, which is exp.ctr, which is the expected click-through rate. You're going to want to add landing page exp or landing page experience. And you're going to want to add ad relevance. And I'll go through each of these and how they're going to help us diagnose the actual issue that we're facing. So with this keyword here, we can see it's um, being rarely shown because of that low quality score. And we can see the quality score is 1 out of 10. And of course, 
10 is the best quality score you can have. So if you have that quality score, then your keyword is going to have the best probability of showing for the greatest number of impressions and clicks. So that's fantastic. And the lower your quality score is, the worse um, it is going to be for the potential for that keyword to show, uh, show an ad for it. Um, now, generally, five is average. So you want to be above five. And if you're five or below, then you can then, then you've got a problem with that keyword that ultimately you want to see if you can fix. Um, so let's look at the first column that we can use to diagnose, which is expected click through rate. So expected click through rate is what Google believes your click through rate is going to be for that keyword. Um, and it's going to be based on a number of different factors. It's going to be based on your historical click through rate. It's going to be based on um, Google comparing your click through rate to other advertisers. And it's going to be based on other factors such as how many ad extensions you have. Are you using all of the available ad extensions? Because Google knows that those ad extensions will help to generate more clicks for your ad. So if it's saying below average for your expected click through rate, then that's the first area you want to look at and try to improve. So how do we improve um, our expected click through rate? Well, firstly, by improving our actual click through rate of our ads, that's going to improve our expected click through rate. And ultimately, the search engine is a competition. And we are competing for clicks with other advertisers. So we want our ad to be more enticing and more engaging than all of the other advertisers that are bidding on the same keywords as us. So if we're seeing the expected click through rate is low, and also our click through rate is low, um, and in this case, um, we have a small sample. So, um, but if you have, for example, thousands and thousands of impressions and you've got thousands of clicks, then you can confirm that if you've got a low click through rate, maybe your ad's not as engaging as it could be. So you're gonna open up your ad and you're gonna take a look at, is there anything you can improve? Could you add more headlines? Can you add more descriptions to your ad? Can you make it sound more enticing? Can you put in some call to actions there? Can you add in some more benefits and uh, features of your products and services? So you're gonna test different things to see if you can improve that click through rate. This is where you're gonna see the biggest gains in your quality score. And the reason for that is Google prioritizes ads that get a lot of clicks because those ads by getting more clicks are gonna make more money for Google. So Google's optimizing its own, the, the feed for its own objectives, which is to maximize the potential for a click and the revenue being generated for Google for every single search that's made through its search engine. So by getting a high click through rate ad, you are, um, your ad is within Google's best interests to put your ad at the top. And so that's how you're gonna rank your ad high in the search engine. And that's how you're gonna get a high quality score. Now, the other thing is to look at after that is the ad relevance. Because again, Google wants to serve ads that are relevant to it's uh, people using the search engine and searching for a product or service. So by making sure that the product or service is described in the ad copy, that's going to help you get a uh, high ad rele relevance. Also, making sure that the keyword, if possible, is mentioned in the ad, either in a headline or in the description of the ad or both, that will also help to improve your ad relevance. Um, so again, that's going to help to improve your quality score. Now, the third thing is the landing page experience. This is potentially the least important factor, but it depends how low quality Google believes your site to be. Um, and what Google's doing here is they have manual reviewers go through the results for important keywords 
and look at all of the different advertisers and look at their landing pages and then they're going to compare those landing pages and they're going to begin to rank them and say okay this is a great website in which case that advertiser with a great website is going to get an above average score for that keyword and then those that have websites that are either either not not as relevant um or maybe they're slower loading or maybe they're not as responsive the website doesn't look as good on mobile and other devices those might get a below average score now it's important to note here that this is going to be based on um a subjective assessment from google so you might have a fantastic website it might be an amazing website and it might actually perform very well in in terms of getting a high conversion rate but google may still give you a below average score for your landing page the process for this is not perfect so this one is out of the three the least important it'll have the least impact on your quality score and whether or not your ad is going to rank um, and it's going to be the most subjective on google's part so if you already have a fantastic website that's performing well you can um, take this with a bit of a pinch of salt um, now once you've identified what the main issues are you can then go ahead and try to resolve those issues and once you've done that you should see your quality score improve once you've got a higher click-through rate and once you've got um, more relevant ads and if needed once you've improved the quality of your landing page and now this is important to note because not only is your ad more likely to show but also you are going to be potentially paying less money in order to appear at the top of the page because quality score along with your out your bid or your cost per click is going to dictate how high your ad shows so by getting a higher quality score you are going to be saving money within your campaign um, or uh, gaining more impressions and clicks for the same investment so i hope that's um, helped if you are facing that issue i hope that's been informative and um, given a bit more clarity on that issue um and if so feel free to like and share this video and thanks for watching